Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Galactic Championship. This is the finale event for this Galactic Championship Series this season, 2022, coming to a close. We have Jeff Moore versus Kyle Borgold in this title fight here this battle of the titans we'll find out from james here in a minute where did they earn their invites from where did they come from what planets do they rise from today i'm joined by my good friends william haywood hello there and james ritter hey guys all right, we're playing scramble the transmissions three scenario tokens out there that can be um, scrambled and uh, tapped by each of the pilots and then earn points starting in the second turn at the end of the end phase. Let's go ahead and flip over to James. James, tell me about these players. Where'd they get their invites from? Where are these people from? Uh, yeah, for Jeff uh, Moore, only have uh, one, uh, one instance here at Solist, but made top four. Pretty impressive showing there. And then for Kyle Burgo, uh, we have uh, a couple here. Uh, we have uh, two showings, a top 32 at Orcon. Very nice. All right, we'll see who ends up winning this one. Now we're going to flip it over to Will to break down those lists. Everybody at home, it's time for you to choose your champion. All right, let's start with your bet one all champion here, Jeff Moore. Flying the cis faction starting at the top of the overlay here we got general grievous grievous loves to get behind the enemies outside of their firing arc um, because not only does he get two re-rolls while attacking he also can reduce their defense dice without maneuver uh has the impervium plating so it can throw away ship damage cards he gets face up and the Solus One title giving him two extra health and defensive rerolls when he is, uh, or when the attacker has outmaneuvered him. Uh, we got a Vulture in red out there, DFS 81, utilizing uh, the independent calculations so you can get two calculates for the cost of a stress. Has Discord missiles, uh, a remote you can shoot at the start of combat for uh, the cost of a calculate. And of course, 81's ability here uh, can spend calculates to change all of the uh, attacker's crit results into hits. Now that is, of course, before the attacker modifies. That's how de uh, defensive modification works. Uh, but still, could save them from some nasty crits. Uh, we have a, another Separatist in yellow. Uh, this one uh, utilizing that same network calculations and Discord missile. We have a hyena, the bombardment drone in green. Uh, this hyena uh, can, instead of just dropping a device, can also launch it, uh, utilizing the same template. So one forward uh, for that proxy mine has landing struts um, to jump onto rocks, just like the vultures, and also has independent calculations. The bomb of choice, though, is the proxy mine, the death pizza. Uh, being able to launch it out the front is a just makes it so much easier to threaten uh, board area, especially in objectives like this one where you can put that proxy mine right on top of an objective uh, to make sure that your enemy doesn't come and claim it without suffering some damage first. Then uh, the final ship here in the fire spray is Django Fett. Tries to do less difficult maneuvers than his opponents because that allows him to change one blank result to, or excuse me, change one of their eyeball results into a blank result. Has Notorious, so if you shoot at Django, he's going to strain you and even get a reroll uh, if he attacks you. Has Savage Press for a force point. Proxy Mines of his own. False Transponder Code, so if you lock Django, he's going to jam off on one of your tokens, and if he locks you, He's going to jam off one of your tokens as well. Has contraband cybernetics, so you can take actions even while stressed. The slave one title for some extra crits, and mostly to hold the gunner of veteran tail gunner. Anytime Django takes a front arc attack, 
he can also make then a bonus rear arc attack. Um, with that fire space, three dice out the, out the front and three dice out the rear. Really, really valuable to get some bonus attacks on that eight point ship. Let's check the board here. See you. Man, uh, a lot of obstacles here in the center of the board. Specifically, they, they brought um, all the chunky ones. Like, yeah, just, there's the a lot of big rocks. A lot of obstacle out there. Mm -hmm. Sure is. These guys are confident in their flying, then. Of course, the vultures like to jump on those rocks. Uh, but let's take a look at what Kyle is flying here. Going to start at the top of the board uh, with Hound. A hound is a lat uh, who can pull uh, strains or depletes off of friendly small base ships. Uh, has fire convergence as the ship ability, so he can provide rerolls as long as the uh, attacker. Or sorry, the enemy. It has to be the enemy ship is also in Hound's firing arc. Has Corky Crees and C-3PO, a combination which allows Hound to double calculate, not only get defensive rerolls, but if uh, someone is attacked in his front arc at range 1 to 2, you actually give them those calculates for their defense. Has 7th Fleet Gunner, so he can like, provide a extra attack dice to a friendly uh, Agile Gunner to be spinning that uh, turret arc at the end phase and synchronized console uh, just to be able to hand out target locks. Unlikely to see that trigger, but you know, fill out your squad loadout. Moving down the list though, we have Contrail in blue out there. Contrail uh, is similar to Django, but instead of looking at the difficulty of the maneuver, wants to look at the bearing. Uh, so I go straight, you go straight, and now I can turn one of your, blank, your eyeball results into a blank result. Has crack shot to eliminate some evade results. R787 to get some extra crits when attacking. And fused proton bombs, uh, which do a crit at, to, uh, to everybody at range 0 to 1 of it when it detonates. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi as uh, one of our Jedi for this list. This is the CLT version. Uh, so you can see three agility and two attack dice. Uh, Obi-Wan can help himself or a friendly keep their focus tokens after they're spent by spending one of his force. Does have the calibrated laser targeting so it can add an eyeball in uh, his bullseye. Uh, elusive for defensive rerolls. R2-D2 to be able to recover some shields or even remove a device like the buzz droids. Man, I can't wait for that very cinematic theme or scene play out when R2-D2 gets rid of the buzz droids, just like the movies. Uh, and, let, and let's not forget these Aether Sprites do have the fine-tuned controls. They can always spend force after their maneuver if it's fully executed to be able to do a boost or barrel roll. And the last ship out there in yellow is Anakin Skywalker. Uh, he is utilizing, though, this, these Delta 7B. So he has a three attack and two agility stat line. Can remove stress uh, from himself if he executes a maneuver and there's a ship either range one in his front arc or uh, in his bullseye arc. Uh, that combines great with his droid R4P17, which allows him to take an action when he does a red maneuver. So if you do a red maneuver and you can clear and it can stress, you can actually take up to three actions then. One from R4P17, one from fine tune controls, the ship chassis ability, and then one from his perform action step, because he will now be unstressed. Has shield upgrade and crack shot as well, another offensive upgrade and then slaps that shield on him to get him up to a full 7 health. Uh, very good. We used to see a lot of Chopper on Anakin Skywalker, but Chopper does have a drawback. This kind of pattern analyzer style droid rarely has a, a uh, drawback. Uh, so, James, was that a false transponder code block we saw from on, Django there? Yeah, down to Contrail. Could have gone mm. on to Anakin there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I think, you know, make, making that choice to go for Contrail because of Grievous, 
Uh, right. Yeah. Give us with that out maneuver shot. Well, here we go. We're going to uh -oh. have Anakin, Seven Fleet Gunner, boosted onto the Separatist drone. This is a four die shot. It's got focus. And that's hit, crit, focus, blank. You got the full set. He's going to use that fire convergence to re roll and, and just that focus. That'll be a full string, three hits and a crit. One blank means a dead vulture. Egon! Yeah, he sacrificed himself to get that center objective. And down he goes. Poof. So, I mean, that, that, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's, uh, that's the power of the, the lat. Juicing up those attacks. So much juice. I love juice. Especially passion fruit <laughs> juice. All right, so we see Django here going to go into Contrail. We're going to probably see them that Quirky Crease calculate pass over. Mm -hmm, yes, there it indeed. is. So not quite nullifying the, the false transponder, but at least limiting the, uh, the possible impact here. Here's Django firing from downtown. Double focus blank. Just hit the force point. Let's see how many rerolls. Rerolls all of them. Correct choice here as he gets the full string. After spending the force here, is four agility from downtown. We'll be able to spend the calculate, but still takes one damage. But definitely could have been worse. No, he missed a trigger. What trigger got missed? What do you the, think, Django? It's the Django ability. Let's check out those blues. Django did a blue maneuver contrail. Did, did not. White. Yeah, did a white maneuver. Oh, he flipped his dial down. He's hiding his... He's hiding his... <laughs> he did, his he did a three yeah. hard. Yeah. Oh, yes. Those Django abilities, you got to uh, be uh, on top of. Uh, this is Obi into Django. Blank focus. So you going to take that 7th Fleet Gunner? No. It's already been used, yeah. Or, sorry, I meant uh, the fire convergence, the reroll. No, I don't think, no, I don't think you, you wasted it here. Save it all. You want to have that that but that turn where you use both of them. It's got to be like you're just brutalizing with two different ships. Mm -hmm. And you're asking if there's a more missed trigger. I'm going to have to agree with Nano. Uh, Major Von Reg's ability in the system phase always missed. Very true. Very true. But it was funny, like that, that Von Reg ability being missed. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's finish here. Double blank crit coming in from General Grievous. Should have uh, re-rolls. Got two. Hit crit. Oh, and that race. is... Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, is punishing. Uh, now, no proxy mines on this contrail. We got another shot here from the hyena, unless we forget the vultures and the hyenas. Here we go. Bombardment drone, crit, focus, able to spend for two. This is going to be range three, obstructed, and that calculate ends up being useful. Needing it to make two evades. Ah, yeah. Corky Crease. So good. It's like uh, two different Palpatine charges. And Hound yeah. probably going to be the only shot that it has this turn. Taking the two dice against Grievous. Single hit. And a oh, <laughs> able to push gosh. through a damage. Wow. What? Uh, Ridiculous. Feeling, feeling a bit silly there. Couldn't shoot uh, an outmaneuver. Or couldn't hit an outmaneuver shot, but... That shot by uh, an unmodified lat attack. At range mm. three. Mm. Wow. You hate to see it. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's going to be calculating the points then. Mm -hmm. That will get uh, one point additional for Kyle, two for, for Jeff. But, uh, man. Woof. Yeah, so we are going to see um, the Agile Gunner as well. We're probably going to see that bomb drop from Contrail. 
going to make Grievous uh, do some tough decisions here. Because he's got to move before Contrail, mm -hmm. he can't really just uh, like two straight and then boost or anything like that. Contrail's in the way. So what do you do with your Grievous? Do you just five forward him? Uh, what are the blues on him? Two banks? Really found yeah. himself uh, between a bomb and a hard place here. Uh, he does have the three. Does the three... I don't think... I think the three also bumps. Uh, yeah, I don't think three... I don't think the two or three is getting over this con trail. Well, I mean, if you get behind him, you can at least boost over him. So you'd have to do a one forward, which they don't have. Uh, yeah, weird. Right. Very unfortunate there. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, not a great position for Grievous. Yeah, I don't think there's uh, anything that doesn't get him bumped besides maybe like you're saying that that uh that super fast maneuver but it's going to be white and he's going to keep his stress yeah and there's a chance that hound just takes up that space anyways oh and then you get bumped anyways yeah now you don't have a focus for your attack so who's what do you think kyle uh, excuse me jeff's target priority needs to be i mean because so, the contrails contrail yeah. has the fewest amount of health overall uh, and doesn't have force. Uh, so that's normally the go-to uh, for... Does he have target part? Well, I mean, he's got two <laughs> force. force. <laughs> yeah. The, the contrail is like such good bait in these lists. Better, uh, so... be better than Plo Koon almost. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it. The, uh... Uh, so I feel like that's the way it would go... Um, if you were just trying to make up some ground, though, I think that the real target is Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Django can move after Obi Wan, can deal with Contrails attacks, can deal with the lat. What he can't deal with, though, is a Jedi moving after him, arc dodging him in the end game. Right. Yeah, not even needing to line up those eyes. Right. It's like, I'll get to you. I'll get to you. No worries. But then again, Anakin does have three force and seven health. It's a T70 out there. With three force. <laughs> yeah, three force T70. Put that uh, into perspective. That's pretty good. Imagine, imagine if Snap Wexley had three force Jeez. out there. Just free boosts. Oh, yeah, and an evade action if needed. Wow. We're going to get a 7th Fleet Gunner Trigger here. I know you can recharge that by taking a weapons disabled in the system phase and you get your charge back. It's a great way for Hound to support each round without needing to actually do damage. And here we go. We got Contrail dropping some bo -bo 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 bombs. Came equipped with those proton bombs. I mean, Grievous, Grievous got shield. Like, do you do you just not care? Yeah, shield, yeah. I mean, I'm just too forward and I'm bumping right into Contro. Like, whatever. Give me my shot. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about there, James, but it makes sense now. You can't really reroll those player order rolls. Yeah. All right. Uh, 81 has claimed that bottom objective. I think really that's the key to uh, Jeff Moore's success is the objectives here. Oh, no. Grievous just oh, hit no, the indeed. rock. Got that's going to take his last shield. And he's going to See, he's going to take a crit. A he's going to take a crit now. You have impervium plating, but oh, man. We'll see what happens in the box here. All right. Does does the box bless or punish him? Punish. Uh, same thing. Yeah, it's not a crit. Yeah, it's it's Only a hit damage. Only do crits. Man, that mm, uh, that is tough for Jeff. It it was a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um. It was a close move. That would have been great yeah. if that two bank landed and then you could barrel or boost or something. Well, he thought it was going to hit, bump into control first, and he just wanted to fix oh. his angle a little bit. Oh. Angle too much. 
Yeah, two. I think I think it would have been much safer to just go with the two straight. Mm -hmm. Like you eat you eat the proton, but at least you don't eat it on under your shields like this, and not get to shoot. Uh, so that's that's half of uh, Grievous's health taken out here. Wow. And that is with uh, the proton bomb coming in. Django does the one bank. Uh, man, I don't, feel I like don't know. Too. I don't know if that boost fits into the side of uh, Hound. Oh no, it, do, it does not. Nope, it does no, not it fit. Does. It did not fit. <laughs> not today. Awkward. Not to, so uh, it does not fit. <laughs> <laughs> try to try to see if you get the boost there for uh, an arc dodge. Not gonna fit. But you know who does fit in that spot? Anakin cool. Skywalker, who is facing uh, Grievous right now, but is sitting at range one of Django. Shout out to D. Jamu for the sub, getting us to 144. Yeah, it looks... uh, they just got their two-year badge. That's done. Oh, Try to do that barrel roll to, to arc dodge. I don't think you did, though. I lining up the crack shot. That's yeah, crack shot on Grievous. Gonna, gonna tell Grievous goodbye. Gonna get rerolls. Got the crack shot going. Can't seven fleet gunner because you already got the four dice. Mm -hmm. There's a restriction there. All right, let's see if Grievous oh, gets no, away. Oh no, it hound. <laughs> uh, hound doesn't care. I got a shield. Uh, all right, I want to see what this it card is. is. Ship. Uh, so, can Impervium Plating eat that away? No, thank you. Would have been a fuel leak for those wanting to know yeah. that. Uh, deal. Yo. Speaking of longtime viewers, uh, we got Belinda Mood also subscribing for a 62 months, a 62 month streak. He's got Belinda Mood. He's got the first badge. He's one of the first 10 subscribers we had on Twitch. That's amazing. And continue supporting each and every month from then on. Wow. Truly humbling, Dion. That's It's crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Oh, man. I think you just go into Hound here, right? Like range one into Hound? Or do you go into Anakin? With Django? Oh, go on Anakin. You can't win this game with Anakin on the board. Yep. Go into Anakin. All right, here we go. Uh, boy, hit, do we hit, get a hit, crit, though. <laughs> slap. Uh, it should be two crits, uh, but it doesn't really matter. We're on the uh, shields He's got here. four Take, shields, yeah. Yeah. Takes two. Mm, you're hoping for uh, one or two more of those, but, you know, damage right. is damage here. Anakin's doing it. They are lined up. They're even, right? So this is going to end yeah. up being unobstructed. You choose the unobstructed path. You got the crack shot. You got everything you need. Let's see if you oh. can pull it off. Yep. Uh, while while coming in our chat for the first time to let us know, James, the timer is not on. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Wall. Hope you're having a great day. And Julian not a great roll. 16. One hit and a focus. Double blanks, but you got that seven. The um, fire convergence. Able to get another result, hit, crit, focus, spends. It's going to be three. Hit, hit, crit. Roll for Grievous. Gets one squiggle, so it's going to be hit, crit. Let's see if that impervium plating triggers again. Oh, crack shot as well, yes. So it will be hit, hit, crit. Oh, no, it's a pilot. pilot. No. All right. Uh, leaves Grievous on one, then. And that pilot crit is wounded pilot. All right. It's up to Contrail. Going to hit him with that Sun Fleet Fire Convergence. I'm going to need it. Going to definitely need that Fire Convergence. You got uh, blank focus a blank and ends up with only a single hit. Ooh, we see a soulless one reroll. Got oh, it. Which saves Grievous. So 
So Grievous getting away there. It's going to be nice. A reminder yeah. on the uh, updated obstacle rules, updated a couple of months ago. Grievous will not be suffering damage from the same rock unless he gets blocked and would have been off the rock and lands on it again. Then you suffer it again. So he's just got to make sure that he completes a maneuver that actually gets off that rock completely. All right. Looks like Obi-Wan's going to go range two, obstructed into the hyena. Waiting for the roll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's definitely obstructed. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> Just a little bit. He's trying to, he's trying to want it some curving, curving yeah. the laser. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Curve the bullet. Hit focus blank. And one damage will end up squeaking through there. I mean, this is Star Wars. Curved laser lines aren't uh, foreign. You got uh, there's. I, you got to. I guess you could use the force. I mean, if Kylo can stop a bullet, I think you could curve one with the force, right? Yeah, there are. Man, Je why aren't Jedi doing this all the time? So it's official now in canon that there are Jedi's with like uh, the, from the old uh, the what is it called now? The, the not, New Republic. The New Republic that uh had instead of a lightsaber it's a lightsaber that could turn into like a lightsaber whip wow yeah okay that's uh, pretty crazy double blank on that attack by the way i'm not sure if i would have sent that uh corky calculate uh i want to oh i guess hound is disarmed he is disarmed mm. ah okay like colin like has got no arms He's got no arms. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, what did the, did the lad just stop? <laughs> like, no, no. He won. He won bank two. He won four, did No, no, no. Do you stop now? Like, <laughs> uh, you know no. You if you hard two, you might fit around Anakin. Like your template, you're not gonna fit around Anakin. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better than stopping. You do not want to stress your lat. I would rather run in. <laughs> uh, I'd rather run into a friendly than stress my lat. So there's it looks yeah. like there's a question about the the rock rules. So for instance, uh, I'll I'll ask. This is a not a uh, this is a I I know the answer to this question, but I'm asking to inform the audience. If Grievous would like choose to do a one hard to the left would choose to do that and land it on the rock again of his own volition, would he suffer the damage again? If he overlaps it at the end, yes. Right. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Overlap, uh, the keyword there. I mean, yep. even if he doesn't do it of his own volition, if he gets bumped, if he tries to do like a, like a two, a two hard, bank. yeah, and then yeah. Hound just stays there and he ends up staying on the rock with due to the angle, um, yeah, he'll still suffer. But if he lands, uh, if he does that too hard and hit the, because of the angles, he does not land back on it, uh, he will not suffer it. Mm -hmm. No double jeopardy unless you really mess up. Unless you should, you're, you're like, no, no, no. Yeah. I admit my mistake. Yeah. No <laughs> double jeopardy unless you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like this from Epionic. Uh, General Grievous missing his struts this round. Uh, yeah. Ah, I left my struts at home. Should have really. <laughs> Should have really got some stress on that Boba Lab. I mean, he's a robot, robot man. Just, just he is not a robot. He is a cyborg. Big difference. Yeah. I mean, but he got robot he was, parts. He was an organic creature at one point in time. But he got yeah. robot parts. You just staple on some uh, some struts. Let's go. Do you, do you sloop here with Grievous? I want to sloop. You want to sloop? Also three, also three bank boost and like not fighting for a round or two. <laughs> Might, uh, be, might be better. <laughs> uh, so that's hard to say. Because I like the suggestion I saw in the chat of Anakin to slooping to get behind Grievous. 
Assuming you could sloop uh, through the lat, the lat moves, so and then you move in behind him. Right. Yeah, but I don't think Grievous is going to be there. Uh, well, hard to say. I mean, Anakin uh, got limited options here. Can't hard, can't do anything to Anakin's right without landing yourself on that rock. Uh, you can't hard three. You have a three bank, I guess. And just be out of the fight for a turn. I mean, you could just rock a 5k or 3 bank and just kill this vulture. I, mean, I would just 3 bank over the rock. Start, do it kill, start cleaning up the back lines just of these uh, separatists. So 7th Fleet has been charged up again. I don't need to shoot. Other people are doing it for me. Is Dion, you know, the math on that is actually weird because the the lat has a two dice attack, but mm -hmm. between fire convergence, two rerolls, and fire uh the seven fleet gunner, mm -hmm. you essentially shoot three dice uh for all of his support abilities. Yeah, yeah, it's it does this weird thing where it, with the support ability is you're taking another one of your ships and putting it farther down the damage curve, right? Mm -hmm. Is your your two mm -hmm. dice by itself don't hit nearly as hard as giving a person a third or, or a fourth dice. Yeah, I mean just comparing like if he only helped out Contrail all game. Right. I think it would be better to roll one three dice attack with two rerolls than Two, two dice attacks with focuses or whatever, right? Uh, so, very interesting. I uh, never thought we'd see the day when a ship just would refuse to shoot. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, I'm good. Oh, Grievous just goes for the uh, claim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> claim? This is mine. I did something useful. Points? That's, that's right. Ooh. So right now, that's 3-0 for Jeff. He's playing that objective. People... I think he's got to. He's planning on losing five points of Grievous here any moment. Yep. Which, that's that's the play. That's the play. You know, some people were calling GG earlier, and I was like, well, no, there, there is a – he's still got ships left. There's still the objective to play, and if Jeff can hold on to those uh, objectives 3-0 to zero for a couple turns, you can make up ground pretty quickly. You gotta remember, every objective has some type of catch-up mechanic baked in, um, and uh, this early in the game, it's not quite GG. You still got a chance, especially it's gonna weigh on your decision making, but also depending on how your opponent prioritizes. Ooh. We've seen plenty of games. Ooh. Uh, where, oh, did he, are we gonna miss? are we gonna see a barrel roll with the padded analyzer droid then? Yeah, we'll probably see a padded See, that, uh, that was him checking his Anakin ability to try to clear his stress. He could not. Yeah. So uh, now they're, he's they're gonna... pretty good. I mean, we'll get him a shot on the old General Grievous. Uh oh, Django has something to say about that, though. Contraband, contraband, mm. contraband. What's his action going to be? A target lock? Oh, yeah. I guess with the force point, you might as well. Now, moving from there and getting on the flank uh, of those Republic ships does potentially cost uh, Django an opportunity to drop a proxy mine on Obi-Wan Kenobi. But let's see what ends up happening here. Range 1, Anakin Skywalker into General Grievous. Three hits. Fire convergence? Question mark? Mm, he's going to keep it. He's got two other shots on him. Natty's. Oh. Natty greed. I'm telling you, you should have just gone, gone for it. Put that other drop in the bucket. But well, uh, three hits is enough. He's only got two agility and one health. So that's the that's the end of old Grievous. Pop pop. Uh, so now the next uh, that does open up Contrail to shoot at Bombardment Drone, but I don't think the Bombardment Drone's in the Lance Arc. Yeah, big attack from Django here. Hit hit crit crit. Mm -mm. 
And Trail Mix on that side has a focus. Will take double crits onto Contrail. Could end up going down if we get a direct hit in there. Yeah, it has to spend here to live. Weapons failure. Ooh. Pea shooter. Rough. Yeah, single pew uh, coming out to the bombardment drone then. Now, you, Dion, you were talking about proxy mines. Remember that bombardment drone is going to launch his proxy mines Obi and came right? off the rock to Obi put it right, right on top of Obi-Wan. All right, and that bombardment drone most likely is is not at risk for being taken out here with the one, the Ew. one die. Yes. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> and that's gonna be a miss. Single focus. Uh, Obi one shot here. Range two. No bullseye into Django. Oh boy, it's obstructed as well. Yeah, too obstructed. We're going to pop the 7th Fleet Gunner, make it three dice with two rerolls. Obi Wan Kenobi. Trail mix, hit focus blank. Going to go ahead and use that fire convergence for two hits and spend. Spend for three. These lats. Uh, Django used his force on offense, I believe, so... It's going to be one hit. Take uh, no, he didn't use those. it on offense. He rolled it. One hit and takes a strain there. Oh, he rerolled notorious. it. Yes, yes. Bombardment Drone going to take that range one shot into Obi-Wan Kenobi. Try to get oh, some... Oh, boy. buddy. Three hits from the Bombardment Drone into the Jedi, and he's going to be suffering... Is that... Uh, one damage. Wait, he's got. He's, oh, he's, he's got a strain from Notorious. Oh, so guaranteed one then. Call it two uh, damage. Wow, he's gonna need to elusive this. And elusive goes okay. through, ends up getting the aid, and now only a single damage. So just a shield. Uh, is in uh, that proximity mine threat zone though of three health remaining. I go in a contrail here. Ooh, five agility though. I think I'll go into Obi Wan. You only need one hope, through though, yeah, you right? You only need one damage though. Oh, uh, yeah. But that's a risk I'd take. I, I I would go into Obi Wan because next turn you got the proximity mines and it just increases your chance of taking it out. Uh, Obi Wan's got the focus though, and four agility. Oh, you're right. The, the 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 five the five dice is technically better odds. You're right. Yeah, it's doesn't matter. Not anyway. great when you're double uh, blank though. So. Yeah, <laughs> all of that, all the decisions. <laughs> a lot of calcul, a lot of calculations uh, wasted. See what I did there? Because he's moving his. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I mean, it looks dire, but. I mean, we're st I think we're still doing okay. Um, I mean, three objectives, right? Three objectives. The true, yeah, true, I think true. I may be counting an extra one here. So killed the drone at a point, and then kill and get one. Yeah, so you should each only have two points. Uh, yeah, seven to nine doesn't look as bad when you're getting three points every turn <laughs> from objectives. This is very true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Contrail, I think, has an easy hard to grab the claim. Yeah. Hound could uh, probably one bank do the same. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, walk me through this. Can Doofus hop rocks? No. Okay. Uh, yes, but also no. Uh, so what you're asking is, can you do the? So the, you're you're asking me the goofiest question here. Not that it's a goofy question, but the interactions are goofy. Yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is that I want him to hop onto the rock you, in front of him. Can and, you op, can you show yeah. on screen grappling struts open, if that's possible? But I'll read it for the the people though. Uh, it only the shows clothes. Uh, oh. You're looking at is after uh, there's two parts of 
grappling struts open that uh, you're referencing here. The first sentence, which says, you ignore obstacles at range zero. That's right. Then a whole bunch of text that doesn't matter. And then you're looking for the very last sentence, which says, after you execute a maneuver, flip this card. So if he two forwards off that rock, his wings are technically still open, ignoring obstacles at range zero uh, while he's moving. And then you would close your wings, your struts, rather, or uh, open them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, clo close them. Yeah. And then it, it, uh, you it have immediately resolved. Yes. You you could be on that rock and you would not be affected by it. Uh, now you did overlap that rock, but you are ignoring it while you were moving. Yeah, it's, it's so a weird. It's a, allowed your a weird your, corner case. You could then bear roll off of it. Correct. That's. I wish they would s solve something in that. We got into it yesterday about when obstacles affect uh, versus maneuvers, mm -hmm. and this is one of yeah, the but, instances to where yeah. that I believe it it does work like that. So could you two straight onto that rock onto the rock Ign in front of him? Right. Ignore it while you were moving. And then once you're done moving, flip the card. Could you not flip it back over? No. You can't flip flop on the same turn. Because the trigger for closing the struts is after you execute a maneuver, flip this card. And the grappling strut says while you execute a maneuver, if you overlap, uh, but you didn't you're no longer executing a maneuver when you close your struts. Did he not drop a proxy? We did not see the bomb drop. We did see Hound claim the center objective, though. Oh, we did see it drop. Oh, we yeah, saw two crit. damage go down. <laughs> yeah, he rolled a crit on it. I got distracted by these these vulture rulings. Uh, anyways, long long story short, you are right, um, James, that you could do that, and then you could just jump off of it because you no longer have your barrel roll restricted. Yeah. It's kind of silly. Well, actually, you wouldn't even need to jump off of it. You just wouldn't be able to shoot that round. Yeah, true. Shooting's good, though. Well, you just want to, like, claim the middle. That's what you're saying. Well, back to the game. Proximity Mines did two damage to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, sure did. Has a few lick and one health now. We're going to see R2-D2 after he activates. He's going to take a deplete um, and then he is going to recover a shield. Hound's going to take that deplete. Thanks, Hound. What a fun, what a fun <laughs> combination. Uh, a ship who never shoots taking de deplete tokens from his friends. We also had Contrail claim that top objective. Django bumping here and it ends up being uh, a enemy bump so no penalties there able to take the focus after overlapping does but Anakin is unable to execute the maneuver yeah I seen about that that bump focus I mean, I would do it. You got rerolls against this, you know. Throw throw four dice focused on him. Uh, yeah, because you're gonna have. <laughs> that takes the focus. Oh no, they're asking me the question now about <laughs> <laughs> the, the the droid. Did it? Did it? Did it move? Uh, I mean, it didn't move this round. Then let's not worry about it. Let's get through this round. You make that decision. You ask that question during <laughs> planning phase. So, <laughs> yeah. They can, yeah. I'll go talk to him about it in planning. Oh, he switched mics. He's yelling at him. <laughs> Good. Okay, playing. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Epic. Or Epic. Jeez. I'm losing it. Sorry, sorry, Epi. Uh, we missed the the proxy mine there, but I just get so heated about these rules questions, especially goofy ones like these grappling struts.
So it looks All like right, he was mostly asking, could he do the claim action? He most certainly could claim. Two forward claim. Mm-hmm. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Ooh, it's range one to OB. Oh, no. Uh, you take that shot all day. You have to, right? <laughs> you have to. You can out-dice him. You just get yeah. four. We did see Obi-Wan regen one shield. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it uh, has to push through two damage in order to take Obi-Wan off the board. Oh, that's true. Oh, that is not, not a great that is, start. That is not how you Yikes. do it. Three blanks and a focus. I mean, now the decision making here on on mods. I don't think, I'm not, I don't I don't think, think you do anything. Cool. I mean, they're not even shooting you. That's the problem. It's like they're going to shoot the bombardment drum. Hey, yeah, I just throws it away. Oh, man, but if they don't shoot you, isn't that like a wasted opportunity? It just feels terrible. I mean, I think I, I'm going everything into this bombardment drone so he doesn't kill Obi-Wan. Double focus, crit, fire convergence, reroll, able to get oh. another critical damage, spends the focus for four, and the bombardment drone blanks out and is removed from the board. You have saved your friend or yourself. No, uh, no proxy mine drop there. Hmm. An unfortunate turn of events here for the separatist. Just nothing's uh, fallen through for them. So with that we'll bombardment drone being taken out, that's going to be a score of seven to twelve. Once we clear the bombardment drone off of that overlay we're going to continue here obi-wan kenobi taking that range one shot into Django, spending the force for three hits and Django has that focus that got saved last time and will take one damage Oh, uh, we didn't send Fleet Gunner that? Very surprised. Mad yeah, didn't see it. Uh, ooh, let me see. Hound's gonna pull the notorious strain off of him. It's like, I got you, buddy. I'll take care of this. I got you. I got you, fams. And Django's down what one a, shield. What a selfless ship. He's really dedicated. See what I did there? Oh. See what I did there? Oh. All right. 81. I think you just Hail Mary into Obi-Wan here. Yeah, you got to do something to change this game state. Two hits. Plenty of evades. Uh, three agility. Just a heads up, James. Uh, Django did lose one shield. Uh, yeah. And Kyle takes two objectives this round as well. It's up to, tw uh, to, up to 14 total points. I mean, with the amount of ships uh, Kyle still has left... Uh, you could just play the objective game for quite a while against Django here. Just try to survive as long as you can. Make sure he's not claiming those objectives out from underneath of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that joke is a real Because what, the, the Vulture is two points. And Django, Django still has nine health remaining. Yikes. Yeah, I doubt that there's going to be a way you can take down Django with the current board state. Mm hmm. Now, with everybody kind of scattered here, Contrail's going a I different mean, direction. Like bomb. Yeah, you bomb and you could K turn Contrail, I guess. And uh, he can just needs to clear his stress and grab a lock and then come around next turn. 
couple of games. Obi Wan, I'm heading towards the vulture. Let's go kill that thing with Obi Wan. Uh, and Hound is going to Anjou Gunner. Uh, set himself up for a great two forward there to get rid of both the strain and deplete. So, some game updates here as they get ready for the next round. We had Eric Flipster Monte beating out Tim King. Uh, and that is Eric Monte is the, um, the, the creator of uh, our current proprietor of uh, Tabletop Simulator X-Wing mod. Uh, right there, and he is a walk-on for this event. Had a walk-on invitation, and uh, is going to be playing against the winner of the Christopher Patrick or Cam Murray matchup, which is that is a heavyweight bout that's happening right now for sure. A other game going on, or that has completed right now. William Hayes beats out Chris Molly. That's going to be twenty-one to seven. And we'll end up playing the winner of whatever the uh, of this game right here. All right, looks like we are. Did you send Fleet Gunner that round? I don't think he did. Did he, James? Uh, he was saying that he did. Hey, shout out to Sevwall gifting a sub. 20th overall gifted sub into the community. Thank you so much. Getting us to 146. All right. Two forward. All right. Does the vulture thing, uh, but is not going to be able to fire this round because he is no longer ignoring it. Yep, yeah, that, that goofy thing we were talking about where you are ignoring it while you're doing the maneuver. Mm -hmm. And now you can ignore it coming off of it as well. Yep. <laughs> That's fun. No consequences. <laughs> no consequences. I mean, they fixed a lot of things about grappling struts that I'm really happy with, especially the barrel roll and off of obstacles. Uh, but that is kind of a, a weird rule. But he's not going to be able to shoot, correct? No, he can't shoot. No. Okay. So he is suffering some penalties for right. that, that, that. That's the part I think some people realize. Like, oh, wait, so what's the penalty? You, know, you do have something there. It's You don't get to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we did see Obi-Wan Kenobi fly fast, keep the stress, and then activate RTD2 to get that shield back for a deplete. Uh, Django just claimed the top oh, sorry, objective. Sorry, he fixed a card. Taking it back. He wants that 3-0 turn. You gotta have. You gotta keep playing those objectives to have a chance. Uh, yeah. Did Anakin move already? Nope. Uh, Anakin has not moved okay. yet. Okay. Okay. So has the opportunity to claim that top one if he wants it. Yeah. It is right there. Anakin currently has full force as well, so could do it and still have defensive tokens. We just saw a force expenditure for that fine tune boost and for the perform action step. We're going to get the claim. So denying, denying his opponent that 3-0 turn. Kyle Burgold, very aware I'm surprised of we didn't objectives. see a one straight from Django to do the veteran tail gunner. All right, here we go. Spends for two hits. Coming in from Django. Uh, man, Django just needing those mods and not able to get them. I mean, that's the problem when you're when you're behind, you have to try to play that uh that objective, right? And 
right there. Uh, James, you want to know something turn. silly now? Uh, that vulture can hard one and open and struts on that rock. Yep. Uh, I don't know if he can fit, but I guess no, it doesn't really I'm, matter. I'm saying, I'm saying going, I'm going towards Obi Wan. Towards Obi, yeah, oh. yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if it matters because either way, he'll be able to. Um, he will not suffer the effects of the. Even if he overlaps mm -hmm. it and lands off it, he's fine. If he land, if he lands on it, um, he'll need to open the struts. Yeah. It's uh like it's pretty funny. Uh I don't know how else to describe it. Doing work out there though. We did just get another another result turned in. Steve Catillo beats out Toby Z and we'll be heading into the top 8. That was a 20 to 16 victory on his side. Uh, we got Oscar uh, from uh, Albuquerque giving us a prime sub. Thank you so much for your continued support. So here we go. Next round, Jeff's trying to find a window, trying to find a way to get a W. You're going to have to take some risks here. Um, but I think you're, you're – Fastest path to points is taking out the Jedi. But you don't really have a, a path to go after Obi-Wan or Anakin without doing some crazy stuff and busting through rocks, which I guess you could. I don't know what – I mean, what maneuver is he doing here? Hard one? Uh, you right? know what? Just talent roll hard, through the rock. Let's the rock. go. Uh, is he going to figure it out? I, I, want a, sure. I want a talent roll left through the through the rock. To start chasing Obi Wan. Okay, I like that. Uh, so Vulture here claiming objectives, doing what he needs to do. Just score some points, little buddy. I know you can't score points off these Jedi. Just keep scrambling. Do so. <laughs> keep on scrambling. I can see the players looking at that center obstacle. Hopefully, James is informing them about. Uh, how you don't suffer effects if you move through it. If you start at range zero and you only move through it, you do not suffer its overlap effects. Contrail taking the two left turn. And Obi-Wan going towards the bottom of the board. That talent roll not looking as tasty anymore. I was going to boost, fix this fuel leak. Oh, just three banks. Right. Three nice. banks. Just focus on. Boost at them. Come Ooh, on, Django. But that would be spicy from Django. Be quite the call. Yeah. I mean, he's been missing all of his Slave 1. Um, free crits. Free crits. But if he does like a like a three, I don't think there's any way to do, do it. Yeah. All right. Ends up going, going to the way. right. Three, it's a three bank, but to the right, trying to chase down that lat and probably receive Anakin on the way around. Does the boost to try to get the arc flipped around? I think he's going to be just out. Does he catch him? Well, Anakin cheats An first. Anakin gets to check first no, and does no. not. Uh, and this time, Hound definitely didn't send Fleet Gunner. Uh, so it's going to be able to provide Contrail that extra dice and then shoot his own turret. Here we go. Contrail. Range three. Should be three dice with seven fleet gunner. Is. Oh, weapons failure. Good call, James. One hit. Yep, got the fire convergence. Comes back at the end of the round anyway, so why not? And can spend and the focus, focus to convert. And one hit is going to end up getting through after Django does the single evade. Uh, both get both. Are, yeah, both are getting through after that crack shot. Crack Ooh, shot. Crack, that crack. was a bullseye attack. 
Oh. How an axe, right. I guess, to shoot. Uh, and it's a range one shot. Yeah, might as well. So the only mods going here after are the, the vulture? calculates. No, he's going after Django. And Django will end up taking shield. a little more. Uh, so Django giving up on Obi. Man, that feels bad though. You you commit so many resources to taking down a ship, and you uh, you don't finish the job. It's a little tough. I mean, to me, that just is showing the power of this RTD two, a, a popular upgrade for Obi Wan. Uh, those two extra shields uh, for almost no penalty because you have Hound to pull your depletes. Um, is so valuable. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Desert Iceman as well. Uh, subscribing for five months. Thank you so much. I have some news. Oh boy. Oh, the favorite has fallen. Oh no. Christopher Cam Crispy Patrick has been defeated by Cam Murray. Cam Murray has been on a tear through XTC at the most recent Canadian World Qualifier. He's coming. He's going to be facing off against uh, Eric, a.k.a. Flipster. Ooh, that, and that was a tight game, 16 to 20. Scrambling them transmissions. So that was a three ship list versus a five ship list. <laughs> Deslin says, Captain Cam is coming. He's doing something. All right, we have a center claim there by Contrail. I, I uh, checked with them, James. Yeah. Their timer didn't go off. So did? they're playing it. The they timer, their timer did not go off okay. yet. Yeah. So they're in, they're in sudden death, twenty to twenty. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how that's so complicated, but I that's mm, uh, I felt confusion, so I went to go investigate. <laughs> It's like, is, well, it's a disturbance is, in the force. Is your timer over? No. <laughs> Are you at 12 rounds? No. No. Then what's the question? Yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah. There, is there a winner? No. Well, sounds well. like you played another round. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of rules in next swing. Okay. Uh, I expect this out of Marcel, but uh, everyone else. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does Anakin care about that proton bomb? Is he just going to claim? Anakin did do that boost to the right, trying to set up some shots on to Django. And here we go, offense time. Django unable to complete that right turn. And here we go. Three uh, dice. Yeah, Django, Django's attacks this game have been less than average, uh, to say the least. And here comes Anakin. Going to be taking advantage of that seven fleet gunner. Let's see what this crit on the vulture is first. Ah, yes. Pencil fire. Pencil that fire. That does matter. It's going to be a four dice attack. Serving it up. Hit crit focus blank. Full service. Fire Convergence, and that's going to be a full string. We're serving it up hot. Three hits and a crit, 
into Django. What's the response on defense? Single squiggle. That's going to be hit, hit, crit going into the simple man. Takes a panic pilot. No more actions, oh, fam. No. No more actions for you. <clears throat> that is that. That's tough. Then it's going to be uh, tw a thirteen to eighteen, most likely at the end of the round here. Still got a couple more attacks. Council fire does not end up triggering there on DFS eighty one. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way for the Separatists to grab multiple objectives here. They have the one at the top. Great job, uh, DFS81. Uh, Flying no, right through the to... center of the battlefield, claiming every objective you can. Uh, but not enough, unfortunately. They have, they have to destroy um, Anakin. He's got to kill Anakin and win the tiebreaker. Or going to the sudden death round? Yep. Um, that's... No, because it'll be 21 to Oh, 20. with the top objective. Yes. Um, Anakin's got, what, five health on him? Easy, you know? It's so easy, two, yeah. Two, two hits, these... two crits. Yeah, no problem. These, are, these amazing rolls from Django. Uh, <laughs> really, really good I one. mean, to be fair, you say that, but he did have some... He had multiple four-hit uh, bangers out there early on. <laughs> But when he needed it, no, did not come through. I remember uh, no such bangers coming from Django this game. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> uh, there's still there's still four ships out there for the Republic, and only a total of two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So I, I don't know where you're talking about. <laughs> huh? And we'll see if Anakin can recognize the win condition, or more specifically, his lose condition here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and takes the evade. That evade's looks... really going to, I think, mean the difference there. So he can't get the full uh, hit, hit, crit, crit through on you. Mm -hmm. There's but another... of course, uh, he is moving second. So you just don't take a four dice attack. Yep. Hound. Does the stop Django during the system phase updated it? Um, or sorry, recovered. I read a word here and, and said that at the same time. <laughs> uh, re <laughs> recovered uh, the uh, the seven fleet gunner charge. We said Django dropped the proximity mine, and Obi Wan just kind of chilling, gonna take the evade and 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 ride it out into the sunset. Same for Contrail. Oh, you know what? We there is a twist here. The Discord missile. Yeah. Uh, if Django hard ones and blocks Anakin, might feel a Discord missile and get that extra two damage you need. Somebody asking, is Django at? Two? Nope. Wrong. He's gonna K turn. Get out of that Discord missile. And probably going to use that Patty and Alliance or Joy to arc dodge and give get Django out. the GG. Yep, just get out. There's no reason to take that shot. Yeah, I did bear roll boost into the hourglass. Yeah. yeah. Into that the sunset. R4P, uh, what is it, P44? P17? P17. <laughs> uh, P1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I was thinking of? Uh, P44 uh, or whatever was the calculate droid we saw on oddball at one point in time uh not the pattern and lines there p17 so good with anakin checks the bullseye yep so one force for the anakin ability i charge off the droid can spend another force to maybe fine-tune controls there's the barrel roll uh they just have some questions on this one second it's confusing uh you basically focus from what focus i understand now. Dion, is that as long as Ob as long as anakin has his ability live immediately after you do your maneuver then everything else can trigger uh, yep. what you can't do is bear roll into anakin's ability correct um, 
And that's really that's really the major limitation. There's some weird stuff about uh, Chopper as well, but this build doesn't have that, so we won't get into there. And even if it did work that other way, Anakin right now with his barrel roll also is at range one <laughs> in arc, so it works. It sure. works. It works all the ways. Yeah, yeah. But for those trying out Anakin for the first time, just just remember it's got to be after you. you. Just do Anakin's ability first, and everything else, all the other rules are, will come into play as normal. Yep, boost in that hourglass. Uh, and yeah, fortunately, no way for Django to get this done. Uh, you take the ceremonial shot at Is Hound. There, we're gonna need we're gonna need four crits here. We're gonna need to kill Hound, and then the vulture kills Contrail. And yeah, you not needed, enough. You needed, you needed four crits and them all to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, some sort of hole breaching a few leak uh, chain reaction here. Then the vulture kills Contrail. Would have been enough. Would have been an epic finish, uh, but unfortunately, uh, not today. And again, takes Anakin's his final gonna shot. Kill Django here. Four hits. Uh, I'm not sure why this is four dice, but uh, why not? Seven fleet gunner. It's range one. Oh, he's oh, shooting that, into Django. That, that too. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Oh, no, he's going to have one hole left. He's, right? got, he's got one left. His hole upgrade, Dion. <laughs> ah. That was a joke, uh, by the way. There we go. Miracle shot here into Hounder. Contrail. One more damage in Contrail. Dun, dun, Gets him dun, dead. Dun, dun, dun. No, not going to do it. Two hits. And, and Natty's out. Evades. Disrespect. Congratulations to Kyle Borgold. Moving on here. <laughs> to our top eight. Thank you to Iso, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.